how big or how small your kitchen may be, there are so many details to consider when you're renovating. This kitchen by designer Nicole Lentine is a great example of a kitchen with lots of details that were very well considered. This kitchen used to be quite dark. It's pretty small and compact. It had kind of a honey-colored wood that felt dated and an awkward island that really hindered flow. The layout of the new kitchen is much more cohesive. The big move was to get rid of the island, which was very awkward, took up too much space, and instead they went with a peninsula with a waterfall design, which still allows for seating, but keeps flow open, keeps sight lines open. The palette that was chosen here is super timeless. It's great if you're staying and enjoying your house or if you're thinking about selling it as well. The new cabinetry is a combination of white painted MDF as well as a teak veneer so you get this nice high contrast look, very seamless and beautiful grain in that veneer that's continuous. So when you're thinking about doing wood veneer, it's really important to think about the grain and how it runs and making a continual line with that grain, that really has high impact. They kept all the vertical cabinets with the wood veneer and then they put the white on the lower cabinets and there's a couple of upper cabinets in the wood veneer too so it's a nice sort of interplay of dark and light. Nicole wanted to create a really seamless look in this kitchen and she did that by choosing hardware that's really minimal and almost invisible. Touch latch on most of the cabinets and a few channel poles in some of the drawers. This is actually a fairly compact kitchen and yet it's really maxed out on storage. There's a pantry, there's a garbage dispenser, spice drawers, pots and pan storage ideas. As well, there's also the idea of the drawer within the drawer, which is always a great solution for minimizing the number of drawer fronts you have. There's a really cool idea around the range hood. It's hidden behind cabinet doors, which is a great idea for small spaces, but there's storage inside there as well, so really maxing out that storage space. Nicole chose a white quartz for the countertop, which looks really clean, and it's really easy to clean and maintain. And for the backsplash, she chose a small tile, which just adds a little bit of texture. It's very subtle. There's a great combination of lighting in this kitchen. I love the fact that over the peninsula, there are very minimal sort of filament bulb type fixtures, which let all the sight lines stay clean, but still give you lighting. And then the cool thing is the automatic sensor lighting underneath the upper cabinets. Overall, this kitchen is very timeless. It's contemporary, very sleek and minimal. I do not think it will go to style.